Michael Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It is 620. Happy Monday to you. I hope you were able to kind of bask in our sunshine over the weekend and the absolutely beautiful conditions. Here's how we're starting it off this morning. Temperature wise things look pretty good, right? Upper 40s for Ontario, Boise Mountain Home, right about 40 for Twin Falls. It looks good. Doesn't feel so good. Look at our wind gusts. Recently recorded wind gusts across the region. This purple, you can see the core of this wind right here. Those are 50 mile per hour wind gusts that have recently been recorded in 29 mile per hour gust in Twin Falls, 28 for Mountain Home. Look at Baker City. You can tell that front is moving through uh, as far as east, Eastern Oregon right now. It's coming oddly enough from kind of uh, northeast to southwest today. We call that a backdoor cold front. It's coming from the opposite direction. We normally see these things occur, but it is bringing some very gusty winds. It'll also bring a cool down today. Hopefully if you raked your leaves, you got them in the bags over the weekend because they'll be blowing all over the place if you left them in those piles on your front yard, unfortunately, this morning. So hopefully they're all bagged up and ready to go. So here's this cold air. We're seeing some light snow in western Montana right now as well, but we will not see any precipitation with this front and we will stay mostly sunny. We're seeing some high clouds drifting through right now, but skies will be mostly clear. It'll look nice outside with those brisk gusty winds, especially east of Boise. We'll keep things feeling very very cool today and high temperatures will drop. We'll see a high of just 58 for Boise, 53 for Twin Falls and Pocatello. Look at places like Bozeman, Montana, though struggling to even get out of the 30s today. So some very cold air east of the Continental Divide. Again, we won't be quite that cold, but it's going to feel very different from our weekend. And if you're wondering what that means for the trick or treat forecast for tomorrow, temperature wise will be nearly identical to today. And this is about average for the end of October. The good news is for tomorrow for Halloween, the wind will die down. So we're not going to have to worry about costumes blowing all over the place. We won't have to worry about wind chill quite as much, but that sunsets right around 630 right now. So it'll cool down very quickly once it gets dark. So by 7 730 when trick or treating is really getting into full swing. It's going to be chilly, so I would say yeah, throw the jacket on underneath the costumes for the kiddos tomorrow. For today, we're looking at upper 50s to low 60s. Ontario may hit 61, but places like Boise Mountain Home, Cuna 58 to 59 degrees, 57 up in Idaho City with mostly sunny skies, and it'll get relatively calm uh, later today, but we are seeing those gusty winds even in the mountains this morning. 52 is all McCall we will see for that high temperature. 51 in Stanley, 53 for Sun Valley. Breezy but sunny in Fairfield today, a high of 54 degrees there downright windy in the Magic Valley. We'll see those gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour throughout the morning hours and a high of just 53 for Twin Falls today. Uh, so tomorrow, like I said, we'll see 58 degrees, mostly clear skies, but our morning lows all the way through Thursday will drop down to near the freezing mark for many places, maybe the mid to upper 30s for Boise, but it'll feel very brisk quickly once that sun sets. We'll look at Wednesday. Absolutely beautiful. My pick day of the week this week as far as the weather goes, 63, mostly sunny skies. That is that warm warm sector though before we have a cold front move through that's going to really change up our weather for the end of the week. Look what happens. We have showers that'll come in Friday. Cold air moves in for the weekend. We will see mountain snow this coming weekend and highs here in the valley for Saturday and Sunday only in the 40s. What a change in our weather. So enjoy the sunshine while it lasts the next couple of days.